I know what you're thinking, my God. How much crap does one need on one's van? And the answer is a lot. A lot of crap we need. Well, not that crap I've just chucked out. I don't need that. Uh, how you doing, guys? Okay? I had our bird yesterday. She was doing some puddle jumping in the yard. We was helping Grandad with his corsa. I did his brake pipes at the back. Uh, he did an oil change on it and all, which was well overdue. It was actually trying to suck in its own oil filter. We, we wondered why it was uh, tapping a bit, and that's why, because the oil filter was absolutely chock-a-block. Let's see, Al. I think it needed it. Inside it. Look at that, look, people, and our dad's little course. Just showing it in there, Dad. Look in there, look. It's even sucked it in, look. It was lacking oil pressure. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. That'll be why it's knocking in order. Yeah. What else happened? Oh, me and Josh moved some ramps the other uh, the other day as well. So I've got a bit of height, you know, with the wagons in the yard here, because them little IV coaches can't go under them. So me and Josh dug out some ramps and uh, and put them in there. So I've got a bit of height now when I'm in the yard. We did it real safely as well, though. going to go and do an MOT prep on an eight-wheeler. That's no doubt filthy as out, so I'll have to steam it before. It'll be a struggle to get the steamer going. It'll just be a fucking nightmare. I'll, I'll be sat in a puddle of fucking mud, and then I'll be wet all day. So yippee! Let's go do that job. Can't wait. It's going to be exciting. Bloody hell, as you lot said, the meal deal's gone up, hasn't it? £3.40, that's with the club card. Bloody inflation's taking the Michael a bit, in it? Hey? <laughs> right, let's see what this job entails, isn't it? Oh yeah, one of my subscribers gave me that as well, lot. Air gun oil. But you didn't put a note in, so I don't know who gave me it. Well, I couldn't find a note. So thank you very much if you sent me that, because I do need it, because all my air tools were seized up when I got back off holiday, because I don't use the proper stuff, do I? But this is proper gear, so it shouldn't rust inside the air guns and that. Thank you very much. Let's get going. Fucking mud. Aye. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Look at that. Even getting your bloody waterproofs on is a fucking struggle. Ah, oh, it's all in my sock. Still stuff like that, I haven't even started yet. Look, this is the stuff I have to deal with. You see it all? It's disgusting. Ha! <laughs> and it fun? Playing in the mud, aren't we? It's a bloody good show. I used to love playing in mud as a kid. I don't like doing it so much now. You know, as you get older, you don't like playing in mud so much, do you? For some reason. It's not quite as fun, is it? <laughs> it's still fun, it's just not quite as fun. Come on then. Well, you might think you're driving me insane, but I made the game that you're trying to play. It doesn't 
help that we've got no heat on the pressure washer. It means you have to get really close to the grease to get it off. You know, if there's heat on it, it'll be easier. Stop moaning, Chris. <laughs> This ain't my first rodeo I've been brown long enough to know That's another favourite as well. I'll do all this steaming and all that lot. So obviously I want to MOT prep it. So I've got to steam it all down. It's for MOT next week. Uh, what's the bet in? By next week, it's absolutely filthy again. So I'll have to do it all again. Oh well, as long as I pay my bill, I couldn't give a fuck. Hello. <laughs> You're a bit vibrating. <laughs> ah, a bit vibrating that was. <laughs> ah, that's going to be lovely to get off. Expanding foam lot. Turns out I wasn't done. But you're never really done here on a truck like this. You can keep on going forever, couldn't you? But I've done enough, that's enough. That's the best part of the morning, Don. Just steaming off a fucking lorry, isn't it? Takes ages, doesn't it? I've been around long enough to know There's some things you can't take back There's some things you just can't Right. This one, isn't it? What's the fucking crack with this? Nobody said out like. Nobody said that it's hard to start. God knows. Hello. Look, my new hammer and torch guys, still got hold of them. All right, let's have a look what's up this then. I'm hoping there's not a lot wrong with this because I've done quite a few jobs on this already, previous. <sighs> so whoever steamed it off has done a rubbish job of it. Okay now, still filthy under here. Oh well, it'll be filthy again by next week. I have to see what off again next week. Yeah, I'd sack him, the steaming man, definitely. Sack him. Get him, get rid of him. Get rid of that steamer. Get rid of that steaming man, he's no good. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Didn't want the job anyway. <laughs> look at that ammo, Fuck, look at that. It's a beautiful ammo that is, you know. Feels lovely when you hold it. You know when you get a tool, when you, when you pick it up, you think, oh, that's lovely, that. Listen, listen to that. Fucking good it is. Good lads, you lads are. Bloody good lads they are. Looking after me, they do. You lot do look after me, you know, don't you? It's a good job somebody does. Because I can't look after myself. She's not too bad. Got a few jobs to do on her. See that there? That needs welding, both of them. And the fuel tank there, fuel tank mats. Them air tank straps there, they need replacing. Uh, what else do I find? Oh yeah, yeah. Rear anti-roll bar bushes. Oh. 
So they need changing as well, don't they? That needs welding. Ha! Huh. She's a beauty, that, isn't it? It's had some pigeon poo on there before, hasn't it? Looks a bit manky. All right, let's have a tip-tap round top. ex-army boots these are they're bloody good you know going all mud and all that lot still my feet are dry best boots i've ever had i've got two pairs of them that's why on one of the comments while well, i said chris you do realize you've got two different shoes on there don't you because <laughs> i must have got them mixed up and put two different shoes on because my soles were different ah <laughs> oh, dear hey eh? it's just like wearing two different socks though isn't it no problem, is it? Different shoes. Be all right. Well, I've got some light to fix here. It's going to be a big job. Look. Look at that. It's a big job, that is. People don't realise how big that job is to do that. It's going to take lots of time. I'm going to place you there. See? Told you it was a big job, didn't I? Bloody good show. Larry Loose Bolt. Not too bad then, all in all, is it? Needs jacked up chicken pins. Uh, need to get it loaded, need to get it brake tested. What else do I need to do to it? Yeah, so not too bad, really. You know, for a real old gal as well. You always expect the worst, don't you? But it's not a bad nick. I've seen a lot worse, anyway. Yeah, you know that uh, that rollover job of Scotty's where that lorry rolled over? I posted it the other day. Uh, someone said on the comments, you want to get in contact with this lad called uh, Sebastian Jedurik. Oh, there, look, this lad here. So I, uh, I looked at his channel, and I tell you what, fucking hell, he can fix some stuff, you know. The stuff that he can fix, I, you, you look at it, you think, well, it's right off, isn't it? Well, he doesn't. He gets it. He removes the cab. He gets it in jigs. He's fucking pulling it. He cuts off panels and welds incomplete panels. He's done the latest one on a Scania, a green Scania. And uh, and he, he cuts little bits out of the main frame and welds them back in again. But he's done it all like properly. You know what I mean? He's got a proper printout of Scania, what he can weld, where he can't weld, where he's got a rivet, where he's got a glue. But yeah, it's a fucking, it's a good channel, lad. So have a dick to his channel. I told him I'd, uh, I'd give him a shout out on YouTube. Because he's an hard working lad and all, and he looks like he's fucking good at his job. So uh, I've told Scotty about him, and Scotty says we'll see what the insurance man says first. So let's see what happens. Yeah, so, they, so he's a good man. Look at his child, Sebastian Jedjorik. I'm good at that, isn't it, Sebastian? I can pronounce your name, haven't good. What do you say, Mike? I need to give some shout outs as well while I'm here. Ben Smith's from Somerset. All right, Ben. Thank you for watching, mate. Bloke here says that he works on uh, he works on demolition on building sites. He always watches my channel. His daughter's called Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Ash and Mozza as well at Fam Commercials. Hey, you got some good bits of kit there, lad. I looked at your website thing. You know, because I'm a nosy bogger. They do recovery. They've got some smart bits of kit. That's Ash and Mozza at Fam Commercials. Struggle on, boys. Yeah, we will. We like a good struggle, don't we? What are we doing now? Ooh, got to go back and do that shitty IV co, I? I'm not looking forward to that IV co job. I've been putting it off for too long. Not as long as I've been putting that spray job off for. Shh. Don't mention that. <laughs> oh, dear. It'll be dark soon, look, won't it? Where's the freaking sun going? Hey, only get a few hours of fucking daytime now. Nah. Fucking sun's going down already, Lord. You buggered me out the light, ain't you? 
Bugger that, oh yeah. Right, I'm gonna clack my tools up. Let's go. We're out of this bloody bog. It's like the bog of eternal stench. <laughs> I think I've got another headlamp out there. <laughs> and I thought right as well, didn't I? Again, another one. Fucking hell. Look how much height I've got now. Bloody loads of height. I've got a sump to change on this. But I don't fancy doing it in the dark. I've got a sump, I've got an alternator. Do I leave it till tomorrow? Do I? I think I do, don't I? Do I? Don't. Right guys, I bombed that job off. I'm not fighting the dark as well as everything else. Suck that. You know saying earlier that my feet are dry? They're not anymore, they're fucking drenched now. <laughs> it must have took a bit of time to absorb into my socks. Never mind. Bye guys. Catch you on the next one. See you later. <laughs> Bloody good show, that's all I like to say. Bloody good show. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. I've tried to be my own all in all and everything but it's just been a hard and arduous thing When I look back upon the life I have lived and the choices I have made What do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way but when I give in And mind and arms lay down You are wall and hate and arms let in The light of day and let Jesus show the way But hey, I'm not religious and I'm old Since I can't stand the way that most priests Stop in the state church or elsewhere After having tried to decide Each time I had to make a choice About something worthwhile now I take a pause and I take a breath and listen to them Then I know how to begin With an open heart and mind and arms laid down Your wall and hate and arms left in The light of day and let Jesus show the way But hey, I'm not religious and I'm old Since I can't stand the way the most priests in the state church or elsewhere Try to get it right from the start Unite mind and heart Choose a way And don't go astray And try to ease the pain Don't stay the same Love your neighbor That's the labor Lately I've been questioning my Path. Who knows how long it will last or where it will go Now I take one step back and I watch what's going on And I release the need and know With a broken heart and mind and arms laid down You are war and hate and arms left in the light of day And let Jesus show the way back Religious and I'm old Since I can stand the way the most priests talk in the state church or elsewhere
done all that top then after I did the bottom because now I need to go and do the bottom again. 